I received a notice or a call to uh, inform me that my coworker was injured and uh, I needed to come quick because it was bad. Um, they had already called 911. Um, those kind of responses were already happening, but uh, I went out to the scene on the farm where uh, where my coworker had uh, been in the process of, of loading some equipment on a trailer, and uh, it, it was not, it was on a it was on a slope, and uh, that was the problem because things got out of hand in one way or another. Um, he ended up underneath the vehicles, and and uh, the accident was fatal. Thinking back, it's it's a lot of simple things. It's a lot of things that involve following the, the training that we receive and actually implementing the plans that we're given. You know, sometimes it's hard to do when, when we um, maybe get in a rush or maybe we are thinking of other things, uh, but just keeping in mind all the safety practices that we're trained on. Uh, it's impacted everyone who, who knew him, um, you know, whether it's parents, um, siblings, co-workers, friends. Uh, it's a big impact when, uh, when a young person like that is, is, uh, is not there anymore, not there to, to work beside you, uh, not there to enjoy things in life that they enjoyed. Well, I've learned how important it is to follow the safety rules every day, all the time. You can't let up um, any single incident if you don't follow the right procedures, whether at home or on the job, um, you know, can lead to an accident. The biggest mistake we can make when loading or unloading is getting in a hurry. The statistics are unclear of how often a rollaway happens because usually when it's reported it's after a fatality. Before loading and unloading a vehicle, you should make sure you're parked on a flat level surface, you have the key out of the vehicle, and that you set the parking brake. Before loading the trailer, assure that you have connected it properly to the truck by checking the fifth wheel latch or the gooseneck latch and making sure the safety chains are connected to the truck. You also need to assure that the breakaway cable is connected directly to the truck and directly to the trailer so that it would disconnect and lock the brakes in case of an accidental separation. We need to assure that the trailer is sitting level and that the last axle is chalked on the front and back to prevent a rollaway. Again, I can't re-emphasize it enough that a flat level surface is the most important thing when it comes to loading. Any angles that change the support system, such as the ramps, can still allow the trailer to roll away. If you follow these tips that I've given you today and do them in the same order, you can greatly reduce the risk of a rollaway.